okay welcome back to our new video here uh, like we were uh, just discussing about the various uh, face diagrams and all so in this video we will see uh, isomorphous alloys and how its face diagrams are represented and we will see the basic difference between these isomorphous alloys and the other alloys okay so to begin with i will explain uh, i will start with an example that is a typical isomorphous alloy example is copper nickel alloy okay here we can see that here we can see that the copper here the copper uh, it starts from uh, from the left side so if you see the left side that means here here in this point is selected so here we can see that the percentage of copper is 100 and here the percentage of copper is zero whereas here the percentage of nickel is zero and here the percentage of weight percentage of nickel is 100 so this x-axis represent an increasing order of nickel uh, weight percentage okay now what do you mean by an isomorphous system okay what do you mean by isomorphous system so isomorphous system is one in which the solid has the same structure for all its compositions for all of its composition throughout the phase diagram only one phase of solid will be there okay that is what it means so for isomorphous alloys so it will have a well-defined solders and a liquidus line so as shown in the figure itself because in some phase diagrams this solders and liquidus line will not be uh, that much that much accurate so here like we can see if we say if we if we take any point like uh, if we take some point here i am plan I, I will draw it here so if if a phase is taken here so throughout it will be in a liquid state throughout it will be a liquid totally a liquid state so and moving to inside this uh, liquid and solders line so here we can see that there will be like i will draw it somewhere here So it will look like here. So we can see that uh, within this portion, so some some nucleation will happen. Okay. As temperature goes down, the nucleation will happen, and this will all be alpha phases. Alpha phases. So this this represents alpha phase. Okay. So throughout uh, this one. We will have the liquid plus uh, solid phases so liquid is represented in this way and solid actually in fact uh, not a full solid is there we will have a nucleus various nucleations begins so it's a mixture this portion is a mixture but of the solid and liquid but the condition is that here whatever solid crystals or nucleation happen all will be of alpha phase okay so now if we move to a solid part okay and i will represent it here in another fashion so this is this will be a solid part okay when it turns it will be from all like previously formed nucleus which we have learned earlier okay previously formed nucleus will uh, be the center point and remaining all portion uh, will get solidified and all will be of same phase that is alpha okay alpha can be either fcc bcc or anything like we will take this is fcc structure here also it will be fcc structure of FCC structure so this this such kind of uh, phases in which all the all the solid phase are of are are from uh, like same phases 
or all have same compositions so this is known as a isomorphous system okay so it will have a well defined a solid as, as well as a liquid as line so here the crystals structures the full solid which is formed from previous crystals previous crystals here nucleation this this is just a nucleation point and this nucleation will grow and they will have uh, grown to full size solid here and this represents this point represents the this green boundary green boundary so all will have poly poly crystals okay with a single face so this is all about isomorphous alloys and a typical example is our copernican system